The female warriors of the Kingdom of Dahomey are a touch point in Benin's cultural history and a source of national pride. Their story was recently dramatised in the historical Hollywood film The Woman King. Since this statue was unveiled in Cotonou by President Patrice Talon in July 2022, it has drawn visitors from all over the country and region. It's a symbol of struggle, because in their time it was almost unheard of to see women fighting instead of men and defending their territories. The Amazons fought for Benin, for Dahomey. They were fighting women and played important roles in the country. I am glad I came to see this statue. It is very beautiful. But a recent investigation by VOA Korean discovered the statue was likely built by the Mansude Art Studio in North Korea, which is famous for creating statues of the country's dictators and, through its overseas project arm, monuments around the world. Mansude is currently under United Nations sanctions designed to stop North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, from accessing foreign currency that could help finance the country's nuclear weapons program. The UN Security Council Sanctions Committee on North Korea, set up in 2006 to monitor the economic sanctions imposed on the country, does not speak publicly to protect the identity of its members, but it provided VOA with the following written statement on its investigation into the statue. The Beninois authorities' response to the panel's questions contained in that report did not allay the panel's concerns that the construction of the statue had been a clear breach of UN sanctions against North Korea, and that the monies thereby gathered by the Mansude group could have contributed to the continuing development of North Korea's WMD programmes. VOA spoke to Beninois Tourism and Culture Minister Babalola Jean-Michel Hervé Abimbola and presented VOA Koreans' evidence to him. C'est une statue qui a été dessinée par un, un, un plasticien béninois. It was designed by a Beninese artist called Julian Sinzogan, who is well known and can be identified. Benin then turned to companies that specialize in bronze casting. As far as I am concerned, it was made by China. But did they use Korean engineers? And from which Korea? I don't know. Only the foreign minister can say. The VOA Korean investigation found the order for the statue was placed by Benin's government with the Blue Dragon International Development Company, believed to be a China-based front for Mansude. This interview is no good. It must be stopped. I am not doing it. VOA was asked to stop recording. Even when sanctions are breached, the UN has little power to make the nations involved face consequences. Sanctions have so far proved ineffective in preventing North Korea from pursuing its nuclear weapons program. North Korean authorities did not respond to a request for comment. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Cotonou, Benin.